Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for inviting me. It is a great pleasure for me to be here with you today. I'm Paulina Miranda, and I'm running for State Senator, District 8. It was a very nice surprise when I received your invitation. And, and then I was trying to answer all your questions. It was a very big questionnaire. Thank you for that. Because when I was looking at your questionnaire, I was looking about your necessities. You gave me the opportunity with this questionnaire to focus at the Senate, since now, with your help, to realize about what do you need. And as your next senator in District 8, I can tell you right now that you are preparing me very well. I will be fighting for you, since right now, I have the answers um, that I have for you, and I want to give you that information. I just want to tell you that uh, you can always, always come with me. I'm a pharmacist chemist, and I have studies of Master in Industrial Administration. I was living in San Diego with my family, and my husband is from Fresno. We moved to Fresno. And I was over there in San Diego thinking, Fresno? <laughs> what I can do over there? <clears throat> I entered to the internet and I start to make my research. I always do that. And I found Fresno, a rural area. Wow, what's mean that? And I was coming to visit my husband because he already was uh, working in a laboratory in Fresno, and I was coming to visit. And you know, the only thing that I was looking was fields, fields, and fields, and fields, one hour, half an hour, two hours, you know? A lot of fields. And that um, surprised me very, very much and I start to study more and more the Central Valley. And, and then, you know, eventually my husband told me, when are you planning to come to Fresno? <laughs> and I said, well, I don't have a place to live. I, I need to have a place to live. And he told me, buy a house. And I said, well, I like the idea. So I start to make the the research, and I was looking at the houses, and, but at the same time, you know, I was working in the biotechnology area in a laboratory in San Diego in a very nice research program, and I was wondering what I can do in Fresno with all of that fields. When I was uh, looking at the house, I found an opportunity. For me, as a businesswoman, it was an opportunity to have a residential care facility for the elderly. And I was thinking, what will be the problem for my family to having sit down in the living room, seniors, if we never, never sit down in the living room in my house in San Diego? because everybody was very busy, everybody was running, and we never sit down at the living rooms, and we was having two. So I think, I don't see any problem with that. So I tell him to my husband, you know, I find this opportunity of business, I just, you know me, <laughs> I'm a very hard worker, I have to do something, I like to have the money in my pocket, so, what about if um, we buy this business and then I will have the opportunity to continue working and at the same time, I can help the seniors. 
I have his support. He was my administrator. He was, he was, he was, and I was the one who was in charge and doing all the work, and he was signing and doing recommendations for me that I really appreciated. So I had that opportunity, and we was uh, working eight years at that facility. I had the opportunity to know a lot of issues related with the seniors, a lot of issues related with the families, the necessities that they was having. Because as um, owners of the facility, the people was coming to us asking about their mom, the dairy, the, the uncle, and they don't have idea about what they was doing. So we should to be prepared and giving them the advice. And then the family members will decide what to do. So I learned a lot of, about seniors. I learned a lot of, about the care that we should to give to them. I learned a lot of, about the family issues also. I remember one time when we was going in holidays for Christmas time to San Francisco with my family. And um, I had one senior over there with the family, couldn't take care of them. So I asked my family, what about if we bring this senior with us? And my family told me, yes, you can do that. So we bring that with him uh, to our holidays. It was beautiful. My daughters was helping me very much with them. And we passed a very nice holidays. At the end, the family member told me when that senior died, Kalina, I really think that I should to take my mom at that December and the holidays. And I'm glad that you did it for me. My gratitude is with you. So for me, doing this, um, it was normal. It was what I chose to do. And we was really, really happy. Are you a questioner? I look that you are asking me about uh, what about uh, the money for long-term care to use it in funding for home care? I don't have any problem with that. I know that it is a very big difference, but I'm thinking that you are doing that to me as a recommendation, and I will take it like that. Because you are the ones who have the necessities right now, and you are the one who should to let us know what do you want. So if that's your recommendation, I will take it. But also, I think uh, that if it's necessary, uh, I can sit down with you and reprogramming your needs, like in this case, because your question um, was very good for me. Regarding the resources for transportation for seniors, it is something that you need. So I support that also. I am co-founder for Healthcare for All in California. So Healthcare for All is basic. It's a great necessity. The people still don't understand how to have the resources. We have it already. You just need to focus and help care for all the people in California. And I'm willing to go to the Senate and do that. Finish that part because we already have three senators. We still don't have health care for all in California. Housing, special for seniors. You deserve that and more. So what I can tell you is that your recommendation will be well taken. I am planning to help you with these issues. And if in the future you have any more, please let me know. I'm here to serve the people of California. 
and I hope you can vote for me so I can be your next senator. Thank you, thank you very much for listening to me, for having me here.